Hey guys, welcome back to another video on IFTTT, meaning if this then that, or as some people refer to it as IFT, which I personally don't really like. Okay, on this video, what we're going to discuss is modifying an existing shared recipe or applet. In my other video, I just basically showed you how to go in two methods to finding an existing recipe or applet so that you don't have to create a brand new one. On this video, what we will do is find one and modify it into what we would consider our own recipe or applet. Just real quickly, what is a recipe or an applet? Basically, it is the ability to take two services and combine them together with some conditional logic. What does that mean? As an example, if you wanted to go out and find all the cool videos in YouTube and have it automatically create a web page for you, you could do that. You would just basically create a recipe, an applet, or find one and modify an existing one to your desire and say, if I like this video, create me a web page embedding this video automatically. And that's the whole point of an applet or a recipe through IFTT. So without further ado, let's go and find us one and modify it to our need. All right, we're going to go ahead and get started by grabbing an applet. This video is going to assume two things. One, you've already looked at my videos as far as the ability to search two methods to grab you an existing applet. And you already have your services that you plan to use signed up and ready to go. If you haven't seen any of those, check out my other videos because I am creating new content as quickly as possible. So, just to give you a quick, quickie, <laughs> long ago I actually created a lot of applets under the name Duplexus Prepper. And the reason I did that is when I originally created my first IFTT book, prior to them making the new changes and formats of applets and recipes. So if you want to go ahead and do a search, the Plexus Prepper, it will actually provide you all the videos that I had, I'm sorry, all the recipes I've done a long time ago when I originally was playing with this. So we wanted to do a like a YouTube video, create a post in WordPress. Lo and behold, it's already created for us. And looks like I need to come back and do some editing on this. First thing we want to do is go ahead and turn it on. And what this will allow us to do is the ability to go into it and modify it. So let's click on my applets and now we see that it has been included in the applets within our account. And the way we get in here is basically this little gear will provide the configuration or the internal guts of the recipe slash applet itself. So when we go in here to configure we can change the title to what we want it to be more acclimated on our own use like a YouTube video or create a post. I'll go ahead and keep this as is because it's pretty self-explanatory. Um, this is basically the description when it originally was created and the view activity log <coughs> what we could do is we're going to keep this on. Any This is basically like, like an audit. All right, so any time it runs, the time the error occurs and all that, it will capture it, allowing us to come back and review it. The create post piece, okay, this right here is what will be generated in the WordPress site as a post. As you can see, it created originally with the title and just a slash video to identify it. This title variable will pull in whatever is the name of the video for the YouTube. So if you go into the video and the name of that video is Like Ducks, it'll provide Like Ducks as a title for your WordPress post. The add ingredients is the variables available within this recipe or applet. Each one of those differs by use. What we could do is we could add any of these onto the fields that's in the recipe or applets. Most likely the biggest we're going to see is the body of the, this is the textual body of the WordPress post itself. So what we're going to do is look at this. We see the embedded code. That's going to be the actual video content itself. BR is the break. 
um, you see here that you are able to do some HTML coding within the body of the text and we're going to get rid of a lot of this stuff but I just wanted to point out as an example this a href with the URL since it's pulling in the URL from YouTube um, you're really easily able to pull a href and then name something accordingly uh, looks like I have here just the name of the URL itself and then we can add hashtags if we so desire uh, we could put in specific static sites or pages if we so desire paragraphs breaks all that stuff and everything so I'm gonna go ahead and just kinda get rid of all this because I'm not using it anymore so right now we have the embedded video code just found this is an interesting video here with the URL link that will tap back into the YouTube you can add on additional categories instead of just one I'm gonna go ahead and just keep it as videos for right now for this purpose tags additionally you can put in the tags of your hashtags anything that you want in here as well and this may be in relation to the videos that you're currently liking for right now we'll just go ahead and put in my name and the title of the, itself the post status optional is kind of a neat function that they provide here the publish immediately is defaulted in what that means is when you go in and like your video this applet recipe is going to have to run first but once it runs it will immediately post into WordPress you have other options that's available you could do it as a save as draft or publish as private so any liked videos can immediately be posted as a private web post the save as draft might be if you want to go in and simply hit a lot of the like videos and then come back to your WordPress site and then modify it accordingly or add additional detail but the functionality of this is kinda nice to have once we have what we want just hit save and now it's officially updated the applets in our queue and everything's ready to go they'll show the creation date which has happened to be at this point in time May 7th it's never ran because we just created it um, it does provide us how many people have liked or used this so what we could do now is do a check now the check now the function of the check now is supposedly and I say supposedly for a reason to run it immediately or at least kick it off now we do see a comment here that's the applet runs within a few hours so there is a process or there is a job in the background on IFTT web services that will basically come in through here and it will check and see okay has this been ran has this been flagged does the action needs to be taken place and then it will run it accordingly the check now functionality is supposed to provide it immediately or very or much sooner than having to wait for the normal run so at this point we're just going to continue to check now come back to it here in a little bit once it kicks off while we're waiting on that real quickly in my WordPress site notice that I categorize it just filtering down for videos and the purpose I did this is because that um, YouTube video we haven't gone to yet to like it's not going to be in here this is uh, 310 was the last published date so if I go into YouTube and I find a video that I want we're going to use this one since we're referring to IFTTT anyway and we're going to go ahead and let's like it so this video has now been officially liked it should trigger or at least flag that recipe applet to run upon its next run time and that's what this check now is supposed to help with as far as run it instead of waiting within a few hours to make it run so I'm going to continue to do this I'll pause the video until it actually happens to save time for you guys until it actually runs and then we'll return so we continue to see if we look at it if we open this particular deal up we'll also
also note that again the embedded video as we said before I just found a stitching video here with the link provided and again coming back here onto our settings the title video I just found an interesting video here with the link provided the categories are videos and the tags are title and Matt Cole and again back here scroll on down the categories are flagged as videos and the tags are Matt Cole so that's what you have that's what it works and as always you can reach out to me through the patreon.com username author Matt Cole or you can just jump onto my main website mattcole.us where I have all my contact list additional articles of information and content within and access to my Facebook page. If you are so inclined to become a patron, I would appreciate it immensely. Simply a dollar a month will provide you a free copy of Utilizing IFTT ebook, which is available now on Amazon.com, and access to all my posts. If you wish to do a five dollars a month, that would be access to all the video content within the Patreon. And I am trying to build that library up currently at this point of 5.7, over 30 videos. Okay. $10 a month is the highest tier I have right now. And what I will do is I provide you all those that mentioned before, including when I create a new book that's available, I will personally send you a signed paperback copy of that book. Additional to that, you'll have access to all my existing books via electronic on patreon.com. As always, I appreciate everybody. If you're currently a patron, thank you, thank you, thank you very much. Without your help, I would not have the available time to do even more content and stuff that I enjoy. If you happen to see this and you wish to have any more information on anything else that I might be able to research or provide to you, by all means, reach out to me, matco.us, and give me that. I look to hear from you. I enjoy researching and providing information, hopefully in a way that is more easily digestible. Nonetheless, guys, have a good day. Appreciate you as always.